Hola mis chulas and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Cocinando con la Chula. So I do want to let you guys know that I hope to bring a lot more cooking content to the channel because I know that you guys, whenever I show you show myself cooking on vlogs or like the last video that I posted, some of you guys said you guys missed my cooking and miss seeing me cook or sharing my cooking videos and then some of you said that you started following me because of my cooking videos and honestly cooking is something that i truly truly enjoy i find so much like peace in it i love being in the kitchen uh it just makes me so happy so i have made it one of my goals in 2022 to bring more cooking to the channel so without further ado today we are going to be making carne con chile which is something that i love and Obon loves this is my mom's recipe obviously this is something that a lot of people make, so you, if you make this, you might make it a little different, but this is our way, and this is how we like to eat it. So I'm just gonna start off sharing with you guys the ingredients and everything that you need. So first of all, you need some carne, obi. I, every, almost everything I got at Trader Joe's except one thing. So we got the carne. I did get um, lean beef stew, and beef stew is obviously a meat that t gets tender when you cook it, like it simmers for a while, or you cook it for a while, that's what I'm, I'm assuming. Um, but because this it will simmer for a while, I like for it to simmer like for a good while so that the meat really gets like the flavors of the salsa. So it'll get soft by the time you're going to eat it. So don't think you're going to be eating like some hard ass meat. The next thing is uh, chile de arbol and this is what's going to make your salsa. So you're going to need chile de arbol, you're going to need some tomatoes and you are going to need some garlic. So the salsa itself is super easy to make. Aside from that, I'm gonna be adding papa. So I like to add some potato, uh, just a little bit of potato, and then I'm gonna be adding some mushroom. So my mom doesn't do this, but I'm gonna be adding some mushroom just because I feel like mushroom has the same bite and almost same texture as meat. So if you're vegetarian or if you just don't like to eat meat, you can make this with just the mushroom and not the meat. And then to obviously cook it, I'm gonna be using avocado oil. To start off, you're just gonna put your tomatoes, obviously this is already washed, and you are going to put it in a pot with water. Went ahead and added the six tomatoes in this pot with water. I wanna let this boil. You want the tomatoes to kind of blister and open up. Pretty much just, los estás cocinando, and then we're gonna throw them in the blender with some garlic and this, the chiles de arroz. I just realized you couldn't even see my beautiful candle, so I moved it. Okay, now that we have our our jitomates, our tomatoes, boiling. Then we're gonna take our chile de arbol. Now this part is like, it's up to you how spicy you want it. I'm going to add, I'm gonna tell you guys exactly how, how many I'm gonna add and then let you know how spicy it came out. I'm gonna do 15, 15 chiles. And if it's not that spicy, it's okay, but it might be a little spicy. So we're gonna take our chiles and we're gonna put them on the comal and we're just going to stir them until they get a little like uh, doraditos. You don't want them to burn. You want them to have like a nice, uh, you want them to be dorados. We have our tomatoes. This is what they're gonna look like once you boil them. I left them on there probably for like a good, what, like 10 minutes. You just wanna keep watching them. And then over here we have our chiles. So my mom, I called my mom and I was like, ma, how many chiles should I put? And I told her 15. She said it's gonna be way too spicy. So we cut it down to 10. So we're only gonna put the 10 chiles and we're gonna do three cloves of garlic. Now these are like, Mm, small if you have medium size i would do two just so that it gets like a good flavor and then you're obviously going to want a salt so i have my cute little salt jar this is from where did i get this oh target it's i think from magnolia so just put a little bit of salt obviously if it needs more salt you can add more later but if you add too much you can't take it out so be careful with that okay so we're gonna add the chiles and the garlic to the blender i'm also filming this for tiktok so everyone's gonna come in really quick just to shoot this part you know we gotta be we have to multitask boom i think i did more than half and i also added a little bit of water from the tomato and then we're just gonna blend and this is going to be our salsa okay now it's time to blend our salsa so now we are gonna cut our potatoes i'm gonna leave the skin on these and i love to use um these are Yukon gold. I believe these are Yukon gold. The russet are the darker ones. I'm gonna leave the skin because I'm one said he actually likes it with the skin. And you're gonna wanna cut these in little squares, like almost like bite size. You don't want big old chunks of potato. I mean, I guess you could have big chunks of potato if you want, but I personally like bite size. I just think it's 
easier to chew and it just goes better because you're gonna you want everything kind of cubed the same way and i'm gonna cube the carne small like that too i am really excited to be filming for you guys more cooking videos let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see if there's like specific recipes or things that you want to see i do want to make pozole i've never made pozole so i thought it would be cool for us to make it together my sister makes really good pozole my mom does too but i've actually never made pozole another thing that i want to make is um chiles rellenos so i want to learn how to make chiles rellenos i just got a molcajete and an olla de barro to make our cafe de olla, to make our frijoles de la olla. Like now when I say frijoles de la olla, it's literally gonna be frijoles de la olla. And now when I say cafe de olla, it's literally gonna be cafe de olla. Before it was a cafe de olla that I would buy at Vallarta, which tastes just as good. But now it's gonna be literally cafe de olla. I don't know, it makes me happy. I feel like this year, oh, good Lord. This year it's all about doing things that makes us genuinely happy and i hope i inspire you guys to do the same and i swear one day i'm gonna be on food network <laughs> i can literally watch food network all day that is like my um that's the show that we unwind to or the network that we unwind to we watch our shows like our good shows which right now we're watching a really good one i'll tell you guys about it right now but right before bed i always get the remote and i put food network it's just something about it that it brings me there's just there's no anxiety about it. it i just love watching people cook i love seeing them try the food i love food network my favorite show on food network is beat bobby flay i think i told you guys that already he's actually my one of my favorite chefs i'm also excited to get like my new kitchen stuff so i'm gonna be buying a clear uh kitchen aid bowl because they have one so I want to get that for when I make like my cookies and stuff and I make videos for like my TikTok or even here for the channel. This little thing I got on Amazon and it is literally the best. I'm going to do an Amazon kitchen gadgets video once I have enough things to show you guys because right now I only have two things which is, I'm sure there's more but the only two I can think of is this here and then my knife. This knife is so good. I'll link it down below for you guys. So now that we have our potatoes cut, I'm just going to cut my mushroom. And these are the Grimini mushroom. You can use these or you can use the white mushrooms. And you're going to get about a cup and a half, two cups, really whatever you want. As much mushroom as you want in there. See, I'm just going to rough chop this because there's really no way to cut a mushroom. You don't want any big pieces. Like, you don't want this. I mean, I guess you, it's up to you, but I don't. I want it to all be bite-sized. I'm literally right on the money. Two cups of mushroom. So, like I said, give or take. You can add more. You can less whatever you want all right up next we're just going to chop the meat you're gonna get pieces like these which are pretty big so i'm just gonna cut them down the middle because i don't want them too thick i'm just gonna cube it and you're gonna have like little pieces like these you know can i tell you guys a fun fact i don't know if it's a fun fact but it's a fact i used to eat raw meat which you know that should tell you how much of a sophisticated palate i had as a young lady because that is called beef tartare my friends and little did i know drink some water because i'm thirsty i'm proud to announce that i have been drinking so much water maybe to some of you guys it's like that's not even enough water but for me someone that would never drink water and i, and I know i'm not proud of that but i would literally never drink water and now I drink four of those water bottles, which each water bottle is 22 ounces of water. So I'm drinking 88 ounces of water, which I think is like almost half a gallon or half a, a little bit more than half a gallon actually. Um, and it's crazy because all it took was that water bottle because I, I don't know, something about it that makes it so easy for me to drink water. And I feel, I don't think it's the size of it. Honestly, I can't even tell you what the hell it is, but whatever it is, I'm grateful for it. I've said this before, but imagine, imagine if I can have a cookbook one day. No dream is too big, my friends. So we've been trying to go watch Spider-Man because we hear it's such a good movie. Everybody that has gone to see it has been like, oh my God, you need to, oh, casi me corto el dedo. You need to go watch it, but we haven't been able to get tickets. We tried to go to iPick yesterday. It was sold out. Um, I like going to iPick just because it's a small theater, but the only thing that sucks about that is that because it's a small theater, there's not that many seats available, so it sells out pretty fast. And a movie like Spider-Man, you know it's going to sell out. I also want to go to Barnes & Noble. I'm not going to be able to make it today, but what time is it, babe? Yeah, I'm not going to be able to make it today, but tomorrow it's going to be my on my to-do list because I want to go tomorrow to buy a book. I want to read more. For 2022, that's one of my goals. Let me know 
leave uh, book recommendations down below fiction nonfiction. I'm open to anything as you guys can see this is gonna be a good amount of food because once you add all of this you're gonna have some carne con chile for a couple of days all right before I pour I'm gonna try the salsa to see how spicy it is and if it needs more salt mm, it's not that spicy so you're gonna want to just stir it around and I, I put the heat back up because I, I lowered it but you want the, the meat to kind of get brown like this but all of it okay we're gonna pour our salsa Yummy! It looks so good. And actually, I think I made a little too much salsa. I could have probably done less, but since I'm gonna let it simmer for a while, it's okay because some of this will evaporate. The meat will take in all the juice. Okay, so now that we've poured our salsa in, we're gonna go ahead and add our potatoes because these take a little bit longer to cook. So let's just go ahead and add these to the pool of salsita. And we're gonna wanna lower the heat to like about medium, medium low. And then, yeah, we're just gonna wait. So we are plating now and I'm gonna add the carne and the potato and then with a little bit of juice. So you just wanna get a little bit of juice and drizzle it on top. Mm. At this point too, you can add frijoles if you'd like. All right, Michelas, and this is my carne con chile. Um, this, I, made, I added some rice with it. It also tastes great with frijoles de la olla or even refried beans, that's my child. But if you guys are vegetarian, you can always obviously X out the meat and add different veggies, uh, like a different type of mushroom, or you can add zucchini, obviously the potato, carrots. I mean, there's so many different veggies you can add to this and just make the salsa, so the salsa is key. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!